What is going on today, guys? We are back for another episode of the leaderboard event. Now, we got our clean out ready to go, so all three sets of buckets are good. We did not forget any this time. So, yeah, should be a, should be a pretty good clean out again. Uh, it, went, it went really well again. You know, uh, the breakdowns this time, though, were a little bit more than before. We had to replace the hydraulic hose and the spring on the shaker. And then all the trauma rollers. But the one thing that we did not have breakdown was our water pump. So I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, I guess we'll see when it does finally break down how long it actually is. But, you know, I'm pretty happy that it did not break down. Another thing to note is we did get a worker for one of the hog pan sluice boxes. Uh, it's not a not a huge help but it will it will work out good for us we're gonna get an extra set of maps for that one and we're actually just gonna get two extra sets of maps that way um, for the clean outs we can just you know we can just do the hog hog pan mats all at the end so I don't know it'll all work out I said I've really been hoping for a mechanic or you know I don't even know. Maybe, maybe Nugget Trap guy or the TDJ Sluice Cores would be a really nice one to have. To have him swap the mats out on those, because those are the those are the most important ones for us. To be perfectly honest, those give us, uh, you know, those give us our best our best gold in the end between all of them. So like. Our buckets that we're running now here, these ones are all the mats. So as you guys know, with all the mats combined into one bucket, it's a pretty damn nice payout as far as gold-wise goes. So what you guys will see here, 17 ounces. You know, that's, uh, wait, sorry, that was the last of the um, nugget trap buckets, my bad. But even still, 17 ounces for Nugget Trap, that's that's still pretty good. I mean, right now we're over 70 ounces, and we're not even all the way done with our big buckets yet. So 29 ounces from the one bucket of mats. That that's pretty damn good. Not gonna not gonna hear me complain about them numbers. That's for damn sure. That's pretty nice. I mean, look at the gold numbers just go up. This is absolutely fabulous. Get ourselves moving on up the leaderboard here. 34.39 ounces, that bucket. Damn. That, that'd be some serious gold right there. Uh, today's plan, we're going to get our water tower up. That's going to be our main... Our main thing to do today uh, it is one day till summer and I want to get that up start filling that up right away before as you guys know that that creek river whatever you want to call it before that goes dry so we're gonna get on that today um, I'm not sure if we're gonna like buy anything as far as like stuff for our plant goes I'd considered buying some more stuff and then just letting it sit off to the side for now until we have everything we need because we need one more duplex jig we need the trommel shaker conveyor belt and the hopper thing yet so well we also need the generator and the dump truck but the generator and the dump truck aren't exactly high on my priority list uh, those we can do whenever so it's not like it's not like we have to get them done. And those are going to be easy to swap out to. So we'll probably just end up end up just waiting on them for a while. I mean, we don't have to. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. You guys know me. I changed my mind quite a bit. So who knows? Maybe you'll come in one episode and I'll go, hey, we're buying the dump truck. You guys will go, but well, it's middle of summer. That's kind of why I'm not buying. Buying right now, it's like prices are going to be a bit high. 
But then again, if we buy now, then we don't have to worry about rent. And, you know, it, it's it's kind of a hard choice. It really is. Hard decisions. I know I do want to get on to another claim here. I do say soon. Obviously, it's going to be a while. But I do want to get on to a new claim soon-ish. Uh, how long is that going to take? I don't know. I do kind of want to have everything... I did kind of want to have everything bought and paid for beforehand. But the more I think about it, the more I think, you know, we could just continue to rent and just save up to, to jump claims. And we'd probably be a little bit better off. But, I don't know, it's, it's, it's so hard to say. It really is. It's so freaking hard to figure out exactly what I want to do. But, I don't know. And another thing is I don't want to lease the next claim. That's, that's another big thing. I don't want to lease it. I want to buy it. I don't want to be making lease payments. That's a lot of freaking gold coming out for, for lease payments. So, I want to be rid of, like, most of my payments on stuff as soon as possible. But, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Now, we're going to have enough magnetite to do another upgrade. Which upgrade, though? Maybe we should do the cost one, I think. I think that's going to be our our plan. I'm not sure yet. I think we'll... Because I know we're not going to have enough to do the, the gold bosses one. That's going to take... That's going to take a full bucket of magnetite to get, so... Well, I don't know. Yeah, let's go with the cost one first. Then we can do gold losses after that one. That should work out all right. That should, it should. So as you can see, the magnetite is, is pretty decent out of these out of these duplex jig buckets. Uh, it's not horrible. It's really not. You know, getting about 70 ounces of magnetite. So that's pretty good. We're almost at 200 ounces, which... That's that's really nice. Again, just uh, another hell of a cleanup. And again, these duplex jig buckets are almost five, you know, almost five ounces of gold per. So that's that ain't too bad. That really isn't. Cannot cannot complain about that for sure. So finish smacking the last of these in through here, and we're gonna get ourselves into town you know sell off some of our gold we need to save I don't know it's gonna depend on what we end up with here but I think we're gonna have to save roughly 65 ounces give or take 65 70 something like that have to see what the total ends up at and then all right shut that off Grab our magnetite. Get in there. Okay. Come on, show me the big gold. And here we go. We're going to end at 208.75. That's that is not too bad at all. So we, we had like five and change ounces just before the cleanup. So we'll just call this, you know, for for sake of rounding purposes, we'll call it a 200 ounce clean out. So we're going to need just over 60 ounces uh, for our lease itself. So we can smelt down, you know, what? Um... Oops, I lost something there. What the hell is that? Oh, yeah, I, I bought a couple of these, and now we might not end up needing them. Wouldn't that be funny? 
Now, depending on how much money we end up with, I'm going to start buying reinforced parts. I just think it's going to... It's going to save us some time and money. Well, not... It's going to save us time, for sure. Uh, I did put a reinforced uh, hydraulic hose on the shaker. Because that seems to be something that goes out relatively quick. So, I'm going to buy buy an extra one of those and then I'm going to get a couple reinforced springs for it. Uh, it's going to depend on what we got for money as to what I get for for uh, reinforced parts anyway. Come on, turn. Jeez, this thing has this thing has like the worst turning radius ever. Is this the right one? Good. Good, good, good. Give that a chuck for a minute. And 47.50. All right. So, like I said, a bit shy of the of the mark we needed for for the gold losses, but we got plenty for the cost upgrade. So I'll meet you guys at the blacksmith in a short second. All right, guys. Here we are. So let's get ourselves another upgrade here, quick. And yeah, like I said, we're just shy of this. You know, about 550 ounces. So close. But not quite. So we're going to settle with the smelting cost here. And we have 22 left, which is just shy of getting of getting the time upgrade. And a bit more shy from getting the mount done. So we'll have to wait on that. But that's okay. Because now, again, we, we lower our cost for smelting by a decent amount. So every little bit counts. So let's get this stuff all all done up here. Uh, I said we needed like 60 something ounces left, so we're just going to smelt a 60 ounce bar ish after this one. So, going to sell off about 140 ounces. That'll be plenty to get us the water tower. We got to get a couple hoses and connectors to run for that. And I'm just going to hook it up to the small generator because, you know, it's not like we're going to run it too terribly often so we're not going to really need it hooked up to the to our big generator uh, when we do actually need it like I said we could just pop on the small one and away we go so 60.9 close enough for my money so as you can see right here 76 ounce bar right there that's beautiful and that 60.9 is going to end up being like 57 58 so you know all in all, it's going to be a really nice payday. Money's starting to roll in pretty good now. We are doing pretty decent on the leaderboard. Take a check of that quick. You can see we're in 8th with 835. So we're a little bit behind the top the top 4 position. And we're about half of top 3. So, you know, there's quite a bit of work for us to put into yet if we do want a top 3 finish. But... Otherwise, you know, we're we're pretty good inside the top 10. Uh, get another, maybe try to squeeze in another big clean out today on camera. Another triple like that. And I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what we got for time today as far as what we can get done. If I can get another one done, I'll definitely do it. But it's it's still pretty early in the day, so who knows? Maybe we'll have time to get one more done. Maybe we'll have time to get two two triples done. So, hard to say. Hard to say. But for now, we need our water tower. Hopefully, the price of gold is still okay-ish. I say ish because it's going to keep dropping. You know, probably after, after this clean-out, we're really not going to need to sell any gold for a while so hopefully that'll drive the price up a little bit but as you can see we're getting almost a hundred and sixty thousand dollars yeah look at that money two hundred and sixty seven thousand but it ain't gonna last long not gonna last long at all we got a hundred and fifty thousand I think the water tower is plus some reinforced parts and the stuff to hook up to the water tower so it ain't gonna be a it's not going to be around for long, that's for sure. It's going to go quick. But all right, let's come in here. We need 
two of these, two, and four of these. And that should, that should do us for that. Uh, I do want to, you know what, we can just get these out at the claim. I'm just going to get another set of eight so I can just, you know, keep banging out the clean outs and... But anyway, let's come take a check of some reinforced parts. And the reason I want to buy the reinforced parts here is they cost, I can't remember what the percentage was, like something around like 25-30% more when you buy it from the tablet. So it's better to get the stuff here if you can. Uh, if you can't, you know, you're going to you're gonna pay a little bit more. So wash plant springs. We need two of them. Ooh, boy. Do I really want to get these right now? You know what? The price is scaring the shit on me. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm just going to run away from there for now. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll sell our next clean outs worth of gold. And then we'll just stock up on some reinforced parts. Because we're going to need them, but... Damn, does that price scare the shit out of you? Like, especially that freaking Glacier Creek engine. My God. $127,000. Holy crap. That's some scary numbers. Oh, I hate these hoses. If it's not highlighted, you can't pick the damn thing up. What? Oh, is it trying to connect to the thing or something? Like, what do you mean it's got to be in a flat surface? There's no flat surface with all shit stacks in the vehicle on here. It's like... It's like terrible and worse. Get up here. Yeah. The way stuff stacks in the vehicle leaves a lot to be desired, in my opinion. I mean, that's just, uh... Yeah. I'm not going to say it. I'm trying trying not to swear as much as possible I know it for most of you guys watching you probably don't care if you're watching my channel and you know I swear then obviously you're gonna be used to it or just not it's just not gonna bother you but I'm trying to be a little more decent in that regards I have a terrible mouth terrible now it's not so bad when I'm playing something like this but man when I play like some multiplayer PvP stuff. Oh my god, I sound like a drunken sailor. Oh, it's bad. It really is. So, yeah, I'm trying to trying to tone that down a bit. Um, I, luckily right now I'm not making videos of anything like that. But when I used to play uh, competitive Halo, oh, it was so bad. So bad. It really was. But, yeah, don't play anything competitive like that anymore. It's been a while since I've done that. But anyway, enough of the, enough of me talking like a, enough of, well, oh, good lord. Here we go, trip over the tongue. Enough of me discussing how I used to talk like a drunken sailor. Let's get our water tower up, shall we? Do, 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 do. All right, 150,000, yeah, there we go. So it starts with 10,000, I'm assuming it's it's gallons because we're, we're on the, uh, good lord, what is it, Imperial or, I don't even remember what the hell the system's called. But anyway, I'm assuming that's 10,000 gallons out of a million. So we can hook up a big one here and a smaller one there if we wanted to to fill it and then you have three outs from it so as you can see here you can run 106 gallons per minute off of it and up to 984 feet of hose what sounds like it's running where's the bear it just happened we turned around to it happening where's the bear you know, you know what they really should add to this game? They should add a gun. So when you get, 
So when you get pissed off when you're doing something on the game, you can just take the gun and go hunt the bear. Yeah, yeah. Cable's shot. At least it wasn't an important one. This one just runs our lights. So, eh. Not a big deal, but... Man, I got such a mess around here. It is. I have such a... Such a horrible mess on this claim. It's, it's like, unbelievable. It's so bad. It is. Alright, so... Kind of reel in the hose a little bit, if we can. And drop it. Sure, why not? Good enough. <laughs> I think this will be about 50. No, on the on the ground. All right, how about on the bench? What's that? 46. Yeah, we can squeeze a little more out of it. I think. Forty-eight, good enough. That'll be, that'll be just fine. Are you okay? You all right? I don't think that thing's okay. There, all better, all better. We don't want the hose like flipping out, and then all of a sudden, you know, you know how sometimes this game can be—it just like freaks out and. Next thing you know are the hell's fifty that's fifty seven feet. What? Now that one says it's fifty one. What the hell's going on here? We drop it like right up in there. Sure. Still fifty four feet. Are you, are you kidding me? Okay, well, So we gotta like back this up to there and yeah, it's gonna be a big pain in the in the you know what. Okay. Come on. Pull tight. There we go. Hey, look at that. Sometimes you just got to force it to do what you want it to. Sometimes you do. I was going to say, I know there's two other hoses. The one jump ship. It, kn it knew what was coming. It just knew. All right, come on. We're going to stretch you until you can't stretch anymore. It kind of... I don't understand this. Okay, you know, I can understand 30-foot range for the small holes. Sure. 50 feet for the medium, but 50 for the large as well. Somebody from the development team doesn't know how to count. 30, 50, 50. Something just ain't right there. At least in my opinion. You know, I would have thought the big holes like this being it's so much, so much bigger, you would have put it at like 75. No, that's what I would have done with it, to be honest. 50 is a little short for, you know, especially considering the power of the of the unit. This is going to be too too long. I'm going to need another freaking hose. Yes, I am. Damn it. It's close. It's going to be like 54 or some crap like that. If I were to actually tighten it. So let's get this done. Ouch. All right. Um, it's gonna be in here. Big holes. So you can see the difference in price. It's I don't know exactly. My head is not in math right now, but um, but it's somewhere around like what the hell did I say? Like thirty percent ish. I do say ish because. Again, right now, I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly. Uh, my head's not in the math at the moment, so. Run on over here quick and grab these up. Er, crash. 
Really? I can't get out there? Is this game not heard of being able to squeeze out a door? You shit me. Back up. There we go. And I can tell you from personal experience, been parked a little bit too close to stuff before where you gotta like squeeze, squeeze out a gap that you're a lot bigger than. You're like sucking in the belly and forcing yourself through the hole and it's like, yeah, you can make it through whatever, whatever you need to if you put your mind to it. Alright, let's get this finished up. So I want to show you guys this thing in operation. Because if you guys remember, when we had it last time, yeah, it was bugged. So we didn't end up using any water from it. So that was, that was kind of disappointing. But this time, so far anyway, it looks like it's working just fine. Better be working just fine. I just paid $150,000 for it. Alright, where's our generator? I think I ran it over down here. There it is, yep. Yeah, I ran this thing over several times. I think the last time I ran it over with the excavator when I was swapping the duplex. And yeah, it kind of it kind of went for a little bit of a ride. But that's alright. Because stuff on here you can just run over and, you know, it's just fine. It's just fine. So what the hell was I going to steal a... Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to steal the... Damn it. I was going to steal that cable for from my lights and just hook it up, but... And this is exactly why I unlocked this, because I am so freaking scatterbrained. It's not funny. Wait, it's down here. Grab two of them. Might as well get the one, the one for our lights while we're at it. All right, back to this pad we go again. And one more. There we go. Beautiful. So there, I think we got everything this time. And we got a couple springs for our for our wash plant when we're gonna need them, so we should be we should be good to go on here for a little bit until, you know, something else breaks down, which probably won't be too long for, but anyway. Let's get this turned on now. And switch is on the other side. Wait, that's not the switch. Is that on? No. There we go. All right. Now it's on. So as you can see, this thing's going to be filling up. And we're just going to leave it run. When that thing runs out of gas, I'll just keep filling it until this thing is completely packed full because, as you guys see, one day to summer, so that means that the creek's going to dry out and we're going to need this thing very soon. So this shouldn't take too horribly long to fill up. 53 gallons per minute. So, wait a second. That can't be gallons then. That'd have to be liters if it's going that quick. But hell, even if that's... Wait. Oh, never mind. It's going by in-game time. Uh, yeah. My brain is like... Yeah. It's just one of them days. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Un Ugh, oh my god. Let me try that one more time. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you guys are enjoying it, make sure you hit the like button for me. Comment down below. What do you guys think so far? How are we doing? Uh, if you guys are playing, how are you guys doing? I've heard from one of you, you are actually on the leaderboard with me in the in the same mode. So, you know, I wish you the best of luck, and we'll see we'll see how the season fares for both of us on there. And as always, get ugh, as always, guys. You know, if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you show the love, 
and support the channel by hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you trigger those notification bells as well. That way you guys know when I post my videos up. So thank you guys so much for being here. And we will catch you guys for the next clean out. Which might even be later today yet. We'll have to see. So thank you again. Catch you later.